Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be discussing the galactic motion in regards to our own galaxy. We're going to talk about where all of the galaxies are moving, but more specifically, why is it that some of the galaxies seem to be moving toward us? Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. So here we are, moving away from our own galaxy, the Milky Way. And the reason I wanted to start here is because, well, we know today that pretty much everything around us, every single galaxy around us, is moving away from us and usually really, really fast. This is what we call the expansion of the universe. As a matter of fact, um, every little dot you see on the screen is basically a galaxy. And pretty much almost all of them are moving away from us. But there are some exceptions, and these are the exceptions I wanted to talk about today. One of the biggest exceptions and the most well-known exceptions is, of course, the nearby galaxy, the Andromeda. And the Andromeda galaxy is located right there in the night sky, so we're going to see it in a few seconds. It is still pretty far away from us. It's over two and a half million light years away from us but at the same time it is moving toward us and in approximately four and a half billion years from now it will most likely collide with the milky way creating a beautiful mixture that uh, some scientists refer to as the milkdromeda galaxy both of them are relatively similar in size and in mass so they're just going to kind of combine into a single object and all of the galaxies that orbit around the Andromeda galaxy, all of the smaller dwarf galaxies, are also going to come with it and will most likely join this uh, collision that you see on the screen right now. So this is probably the most well-known galaxy that's moving toward us. And of course, all of its uh, nearby dwarf galaxies are coming toward us as well. And if you look around here, uh, there are actually quite a few of these dwarf galaxies near it that are going to combine with us as well. Here's one of these, for example, uh, known as Messier 110. So all of these uh, smaller galaxies are obviously moving toward us. And for the most part, pretty much everything in the so-called local group um, or local group of galaxies is gravitationally stuck together. So in a sense, things are moving closer and closer to um, each other. In other words, if we were to try to simulate this in Universe Sandbox, um, so this is kind of what this local group looks like. There's the Andromeda galaxy, there is the third largest galaxy called Triangulum, and the Milky Way with the nearby galaxies is right there. And all of these uh, larger galaxies, as well as some of these smaller galaxies, are technically sort of moving toward each other. So at some point, uh, it's very likely that most of them will probably combine into one large mega galaxy. And here we actually have over 50 different galaxies from really large ones to really, really tiny ones, some of which are still actually not very well understood and are so small or so diffuse that are barely even visible, and we found them completely by accident. So in other words, uh, pretty much all of these 54 galaxies in some sense are gravitationally connected into one large object. And so in this particular instant, it becomes quite obvious why um, in this case, the galaxies would be moving toward each other. But what about some of the other galaxies? Well, in the last few years, using Hubble telescope and using various other telescopes, the scientists started to discover um, some of the galaxies that were basically blue shifted. Now, if you don't remember what this means, the idea here is pretty simple. When something in space or really anywhere is moving away from you, the light coming from that object is going to be red shifted and all of the colors will appear uh, kind of more red than they would otherwise. The best example um, for us to actually try to demonstrate this is actually also right here in Space Engine. If you were to try to zoom in onto the farthest objects here, you'd start seeing that a lot of them do appear more orangey, more red and so on. So this is basically galaxies that are moving away from us really fast and the light from them becomes red shifted. Well, the opposite is also true. When a galaxy or anything else is moving toward us, the light becomes blue shifted. And so it appears a little bit more bluish than it would otherwise. And the examples of this are very, very rare in space. And so, as I mentioned, the Andromeda galaxy and its partners are definitely sort of in that boat. They do appear blue shifted. But there are other types of galaxies uh, in the so-called Virgo cluster that do appear blue shifted as well. And this is a slightly more interesting story. Now, here is one such example. This was discovered only a few years ago. The galaxy known as M90 or Messier 90. 
Now, the Virgo cluster um, is actually where the super famous M87 is located. And here's what it roughly all looks like with M87 being right here. This is the super famous black hole image that we saw only a few months ago from when I'm making this video, with the galaxy itself being the most massive and basically the largest representative um, in the nearby space. And this particular cluster that you're looking at is located about 55 million light years away from us, or roughly around 20 to 30 times as far away as the Andromeda galaxy. And so this particular cluster is very interesting because it contains a lot of mass and a lot of really large massive galaxies. This image alone shows you that there is a lot of stuff happening here. There's a lot of a really interesting interaction. And even though you can't really tell from this image, all of these galaxies are actually sort of spinning around each other and are moving around each other pretty fast. Now, because this is about 50 to 60 million light years away from us, it technically is moving away from us due to dark energy at a speed of approximately, uh, well, close to about 1000 kilometers per second. And just to give you an idea of how fast this is, here is a representative of an asteroid belt moving at 1000 kilometers per second very close to planet Earth in real time. This is basically how fast these galaxies are moving away from us. Now, this is a pretty fast velocity, pretty fast speed, and it also means that we'll probably never catch up to those galaxies um, because we can't really attain the speed um, with current technology. But nevertheless, though, it appears that some of those galaxies are moving toward us, and that's where it gets a little, a little bit tricky and a little bit interesting. So this galaxy right here, M90, and all of its nearby dwarf galaxies, as well as this galaxy right here, known as M86, not M87, M86, and also its nearby galaxies. And lastly, this galaxy, M98. All three of these galaxies are moving toward us pretty fast. Despite the distance, despite the fact that all of the nearby galaxies are moving away at a thousand kilometers per second, these three galaxies are blue shifted, suggesting that their motion is toward us. Now, for the longest time, we didn't really know why, but today the scientists finally kind of understood. The idea here is really simple. Because in the Virgo cluster, everything orbits around each other, or in a sense moves around each other really um, fast, some galaxies are moving away while others, because they're basically spinning, are moving toward us. So in a sense, think of it as, as a kind of a galactic-sized merry-go-round. While some galaxies are moving away from us, Others are moving toward us, but eventually they'll move around and those that were moving away from us now will be moving toward us and vice versa. So even though these three galaxies that I just mentioned are currently blue shifted and are moving toward us, at some point in the next few billion years, they will most likely be moving away from us while their partners might move toward us. And at the same time, all of these galaxies from the Virgo cluster that you can also see right here on this three dimensional map are also moving toward a single point in space, just like our own Milky Way. This point is known as the Great Attractor. We don't really know what it is, but it's sort of this really, really massive, really large um, something that is attracting all of the galaxies in a nearby space. And uh, this is something we'll talk about in another video. But for now, know that the Virgo Cluster, the most massive collection of galaxies, is um, relatively close to the local group, but all of the galaxies inside of this local group are sort of rotating around one another, and because of this, some of them appear to be moving toward us. Now, this is why um, some galaxies do appear to move toward us, but for the most part, everything is sort of moving apart. And um, I've already discussed this in one of the previous videos where we believe that in about a few billion years or possibly like a trillion years from now, assuming the universe still exists, the um, concept of a galaxy will no longer exist because you will not be able to see any of these beautiful galaxies in the night skies. If someone is still out there uh, standing on the surface of a planet somewhere in the Milky Way, which we can obviously simulate by trying to find some sort of a planet to land on here. Let's try to do this right now. Let's find a random star and a planet inside the Milky Way. And so while standing on this randomly generated planet, we can try to imagine what the future, um, I guess, intelligent beings will be able to see, which is not much, unfortunately. So if they look into the night skies, uh, they'll see a very different night sky from what we're used to. For one, there's going to be no more galaxies left. 
all of the galaxies will now be beyond the visible horizon and will basically only be seeing some stars and a few nebulae and that's it. No galaxies, nothing. The idea of a galaxy will no longer exist to these beings. And at some point, even some of the other concepts like stars and nebula will also become non-existent. But if you want to learn more about this, check out the video that I made previously, it's somewhere above my head. Although for now, that's really all I wanted to mention in this video. I wanted to help you understand why, even though today all of the galaxies around us for the most part are moving away from us, there are a few examples, specifically around 100 or so, and uh, only a few very large examples, such as the Andromeda Galaxy, that are moving toward us. Now, with the exception of these galaxies, we haven't really found anything else moving toward us, which is why we are almost certain that about 68% of of everything in the universe is basically dark energy that's pushing everything apart from each other. Now once we figure this out and once we know what it is, we'll probably understand it better. For now we don't even know what's possibly causing all of this. We just know that this is what we're observing and this is what seems to be happening in the universe and some scientists even suggested that it's very likely that at some point our universe is going to rip itself apart because it's going to expand too fast. Anyway, on that note, that's all I wanted to mention in this video, check out some of the other videos I mentioned uh, on the channel and also come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. Also don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who loves learning about space and sciences and let me know in the comments below if you actually know of some other galaxy that I might have forgotten to mention that is also moving toward us. I think I may have covered all of them but I may have missed one important one. Anyway, on that note, I'll see you tomorrow, space out and as always, bye bye.